Hi and welcome back to the Apogee Element Series video tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to use your DAW's high quality reverb in Element Control's low latency mixer. We all know the story. You finished your backing track masterpiece. Your DAW buffer is set to its highest setting and now it's time to overdub the singer. To overcome the higher latency that occurs with the high buffer setting, you've set up direct monitoring through Element Control. What's the first thing that every singer asks for? Reverb. Most likely, the highest quality reverb in your system is found in your DAW plugin collection, but how can you use it with direct monitoring? The answer is Element Control's FX Send that offers a convenient way to route a signal tap from Element hardware inputs directly to your DAW reverb. To get started, let's assume you've created a track in your DAW onto which to record a vocal. Next, set up a reverb send from this track to a separate reverb return using your favorite plugin. Since software monitoring is turned off, the reverb send is not active when the track is in record, but is active during playback. So this is all you need to play back your track with reverb once it's recorded. Okay, but how to hear reverb when you're recording? First, let's create an aux input in your DAW to accept the element FX send input. Then, set up the same reverb send used for the initial track. The output from this aux isn't needed, so set it to no output. In element control, raise the FX send fader on your vocal input channel, plus the FX send master. The mic input signal is now routed directly to the DAW reverb input, while the reverb output is mixed with other playback signals and returned to the element control mixer. Now you've created two paths, one to send reverb from the playback, the other to send reverb while you're recording. With this simple setup, you'll be tracking those critical vocals with virtually no latency and the highest quality reverb.